hello viewers hope you are doing well today i'd like to discuss with you how you can insert uh, seal of type data into database here i will show you uh, in two ways how you can insert it first we can try and directly insert data from the file and then we try to convert text into text to pdf and store it into the database let's see the demo and then start the practical session here uh, you can see the demo from uh, here i am going to insert a report id for five from the file here i upload a pdf file and save it here yes, successfully saved and here you can see the number five report here later we will see in details now i am going to insert text as a pdf file it will convert the text to pdf and then display it here i have pasted large text try to save yeah successfully saved here you can see yeah, the first one the file first file and then the let last uh, text file is converted to pdf yeah this is the converted text display as pdf the total 163 page so let us start the practical session first create a blank page give a appropriate name now to display the breadcrumb create a blank region static content type region rename it apply some formatting item is spacing slim create few items like report id change the template make it stress with form copy it and then rename it to page id change the level show it to the same row create another one this will define the syllab type what we want to do is the file from the is a seal of item from file or not uh, or it may be input text make it radio box radio button there will be two item file and text And then the file browse item it will upload the file from the local directory and another one is for text area for input text that will convert into the PDF file set uh, default uh, value for the select type item then create a dynamic action to uh, handle the input browse file file uh, file browse item and the text input item if i choose the file then display the upload file field otherwise display the input text field no need to display this two field uh, at a time if we do so that uh, will make in confusion so we need to apply the dynamic action 
now we need to create a process to insert data from the file into the database so let's declare a variable l underscore clf as clf type data and then capture the middle content from the apex applications temp files and we'll which we uploaded from the directory by the file browser item here the name equal to the that uh, item which we, we which have been created and then insert into the table In my earlier video, I have shown um, how to display this uploaded file consecutively. If you not watch this video earlier, I would like to request you to watch this video. By creating the process, then uh, we need to create a Ajax callback function uh, to insert the input text as uh, PDF uh, that means seal of type data into the database. After creating the Ajax callback function, we need to create a JavaScript function into the page label. Before we do that, we need to download the JavaScript library file which will convert text into the PDF. Uh, you can directly uh, use the link as source or you can download it and uh, save it as a javascript file then it upload to the application share component i prefer it to upload in my local applications here you can see that uh, i have uh, saved the file as javascript and then upload it into the share component static applications files then copy the path and link it to the base and, and javascript file urls and then create the javascript functions and this function will responsible to convert the input text into pdf and Call the Ajax callback function to interact with database that means uh, set the data into the database first uh, I am going to clear the error message in the base app then create a new instance of JS PDF setting the base size setting the page margin this is the page width and this 
close height that means the A4 size paper with an height capture the input text value uh, that uh, will convert into the PDF Setting font size and family. You can skip it. Uh, if you if you skip that uh, portion, the file will save in by default uh, font size and format. I'm writing the text into the PDF file line by line. Append the text into the file. <laughs> the file is ready to store. Just capture the file. Now call the AJAX function to interact with the database. And this process will execute only when the file type equal to text. Can I make a mistake? No. I have directly used the page item reference, but uh, I prefer to use application variable. We are setting the application variable value. x01 equal to report id, x02 equal to page id, assign the value here, and the pc log 301 equal to the pdf base 64 that variable. 
and here is the success function here now what will happen the, if the as a solver function successfully work if the message uh, if the as x function works then i think we just uh, show the success message else display the error message Even uh, messes something wrong. Vision test. At last, submit the test. This is submitted the submit the test make it conditional uh, when the file type equal to f select file type equal to file then execute this process and uh, change the branching to yeah that's it let's check uh, inserted data from file Yes, yeah, save successfully and here you can see the number 5 here yeah. then try again to insert uh, text into a, a pdf file here yeah. and paste a large amount of text here yeah, and try to save it as pdf yeah data successfully saved here you can see number five there is a two page id against this report first one is from file and second one is, second one is from the text that's it for today thank you for watching if found helpful please like comment share and subscribe thank you for watching